This week on Headlock, Cologne goes into the Hall of Fame, Kane goes into business for himself, and WWE goes looking for a new home. Well, maybe. Yep, there's still time. Let's lock up. Another Hall of Fame inductee was announced this past week as Carlos Colon will be joining the class of 2014. A legendary promoter and world champion of WWC in Puerto Rico, best known for testifying against Bruiser Brody at the trial for Brody's murder, his WWE run is best known for showing up once sometime during the 1993 Royal Rumble. With the obligatory Vern Gagne role of let's pretend our Hall of Fame is real by having a non-WWE star in it going to Carlos for the night, the role of Greg Gagne will be played by his nephew Fernando, his youngest son Diego, and presumably his oldest son Carlito, who will be filling in as El Torito. Cologne joins the Ultimate Warrior, who will be inducted by Linda McMahon, Jake the Snake Roberts, who will be inducted by DDP, and Lita, who will be inducted by... I don't know, Matt? Adam? We're not sure yet. The Hall of Fame will be shown in its entirety on the WWE Network live on April 5th, the night before WrestleMania and Juice Make Sugar's own WrestleMania weekend slobberknocker. Speaking of the networks, after failing to reach a deal with NBC Universal at the end of February, the WWE has taken talks to other massive media conglomerates looking for a new home for their full suite of shows. According to a report by Bloomberg, the WWE has been in talks with Viacom, Time Warner, Fox, and, oh, that can't be right, AMC Networks. Now, Viacom owns Spike TV, which was once the home of WWE back when Spike TV was still TNN, and is currently the home of wrestling's little engine that can't, TNA. The TNA contract is set to expire around the same time as WWE's contract with Universal, which would explain why Spike TV has yet to renew it. Time Warner Inc. is also familiar with the wrestling business, of course, and such a deal would likely mark the return of wrestling to TNT, or if they go ahead and reimagine Raw as a hangout comedy, TBS. Fox would likely put the show on Fox Sports 1, where it will hopefully garner more than the 7,000 viewers Fox Sports Live did with their flagship show in January. This leaves the oddest name of the bunch, AMC. AMC is now considered a top cable company thanks to shows like Mad Men, Walking Dead, and Breaking Bad, along with live after shows based on these like Talking Dead and Talking Bad. This would be a prime time for the WWE to take the post-Raw show from the WWE Network exclusive to the Chris Hardwick hosted Raw is Conversation. Corporate Kane has taken his gimmick to the next level as the big red businessman has opened an insurance company out of Knoxville, Tennessee called the Jacobs Agency. Alongside his wife Crystal, Kane, real name Glenn Jacobs, will offer home, auto, life, rental, commercial, and more, as well as offer retirement planning. Now, apparently Kane has been debating leaving the ring for quite some time, but still feels he can go and is not ready to retire just yet. Honestly, I think this works perfect for him, as Kane is basically now 2014's IRS. Wait a minute. Kane gets kidnapped by Bray Wyatt, then returns to go corporate. Bray Wyatt's father is Mike Rotunda. <gasps> IRS brainwashed Kane to go corporate. <gasps> Is Terry Reynolds' sister Abigail? And of course, the CM Punk drama continues with this week's World Heavyweight Championship Douche Canoe. Chael Sonnen. That's right, Chael. I'm calling you a douche. You want to fight me on it? Please don't. Chael was a guest on the Canadian sports show Off the Record with Michael Landsberg. When asked whether or not he thought Punk was going to be at WrestleMania, he responded, I don't know, but you want to know who does? Stephanie McMahon, before giving out her personal cell phone number to the general public. Now, it's very possible this is part of some elaborate stunt for WrestleMania 30 and all a work. Until we hear otherwise, we're going to assume that it's real. I mean... Why on earth do it in Canada if it wasn't? Punk left. Sure, he was upset and not being utilized the way many of us would have liked him to have been, but he left. 
All right, WWE has been trying to bring him back. Good Lord, I wrote a goddamn song on the subject, okay? Chill. You are going beyond making things worse. You are actively encouraging people to harass this poor multi-million dollar woman for something she is arguably not responsible for doing. Stephanie does not know when CM Punk is coming back because Stephanie's not in control of when CM Punk is coming back. If she was, then CM Punk would be back, especially in time to save Chicago Raw from Chicago. You know who is though? CM Punk. So you should go ahead and call his good friend Chael Sonnen on his personal and private cell phone number. His actual, there's no 555 here, his actual cell phone number. And have him tell Punk that Chael is the World Heavyweight Championship douche canoe. And that marks another end to Headlocked. What do you think? Should we expect to see Raw somewhere between comic book men and game of arms? Then tell us in the comment section below. Also be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Facebook pages of both us and JuiceMakeSugar.com, the revolutionary force in smart market entertainment. This week is John Cena week, so stop by and see if Nick can wear his hustle, loyalty, and respect armbands, t-shirt, and hat without his girlfriend breaking up with him. Also. April 6th will be the WrestleMania weekend slobber knocker at Boss Tweeds. Live with me and the other guys from Juice Make Sugar will be having trivia, raffle, and plenty of wrestling to watch. So stop by if you're in the area. You can see all the information on Facebook. Until then, thank you for watching. My name is Noah Waterman. And please, don't try this at home. No punk's gonna wrestle at WrestleMania, but I know who does. You wanna know who knows? Stephanie McMahon, and if you want the answer to that question, viewers, call her on her personal and private cell phone number. The actual, there's no 555 here. This is her personal cell phone number. And have her tell Triple H, I just played the game.